of wisdom. But I had that so. Any Mawaninji, it will win you. Our topic for today's program is be very happy in the works of your hands. Yes, you are, dear be a far unipa as it's an abonia. Any dear co, any dear see a was as you saw. We have learned something about how human beings are able to frustrate other human beings through their works. Last week, an answer, baby, a chemono. A radiant copon domain, and now my and word rule. And word ready kind were the my and that day ye be seen and no a drew a tossumino. Some time ago, we studied something about how human beings frustrate others, and the Lord gave us the keys, the first keys to that. Today, we're going to study about the second part of it. And that day, I know a dry be seen, and no idea topic, no topic, and say. The medicine for that which we learned about how human beings frustrate others is the topic we've given for today's program. That is, be very happy in the works of your hands. Nipa na wane ne teno. We nipa na wane ne teno. E wo fiye hono. E jume mo. En kanka awariye ni mono. Ma weni ni no. No matter how somebody is frustrating you in life. Be it your work site. Be it your marriage. Be it the area where you are. Just be happy in the works of your hands. Amen. Amen. A dear minimum we are seeing in an essay. And now you can't want them. And that's so, Miss I can't want them. And them nipper so, and the nipper dee. And them nipper so, and the nipper dee on your reward. The other time I taught you something that in this life, it is through human beings that human beings are able to receive prosperity or blessings and it is the same human beings through whom human beings can also fall down or get destroyed in life challenge what we are saying here this year a cum yang a high yang a tete yemi a dear rewono a far free nipa the biggest challenge that is destroying human beings most of it comes from human beings and now you didn't need to know you know you know you know you know Se beti mi ya bemu, amu weti me jina wa nansu. Aye nipa, aye obe sima, anabe me sima, e jine nipa so. If you can reach the level of glory that God has given to you in this life, if it can come to pass in your life, it depends on a human being. Nyami shwa pa. Be blessed. Nyanku pa wade wong wong, e duye ni pemu, se yem famwa, ni yonku nipa. God has fixed in every human being the spirit of help that we should use it to help fellow human beings. This is what the enemy or the devil has seen. So he has also fixed in human beings his bad spirit that these people will use this same bad spirit to destroy or frustrate his fellow human being. If it's your mother, he can do it to you. Oh, papa, bet to me the ayo. Your father can do it to you. Oh, sister. Your sister. Your brother can do it to you. Wouldn't you know bet to me the ayo? Your own brother can do it to you. And the wukunu, even your husband, oh, bet to me the ayo, can use it to destroy you. Jesus or Troy say, because Jesus said, when you pay fear for buying your time for your own household will be your own enemies. Amen. Amen. The next one is that if I tell you that God has fixed in human beings the spirit of help to help human beings, and I'm 
Sama amena sifuo ana papa na sifuo omo mere wi ase no a hum a parent can lay aside a good inheritance for his children's children so through those inheritance those children coming up do not suffer but they are able to receive those blessings na no me ka chere wo se wo hu fie bi mu fo a obi tumi e de na ni hwe fie bi mu e tumi ka e chere san krofo ko ni se san krofo we de ye wo mu tu sie so wo mu fie abro chere fo fie e sika fo fie the other time I was telling you that you can see somebody and then just look at the person. The person can tell you that look at this person's house. As for their house, they were built or when they were born into a good home. Their home is a home of riches. Their home is a home where people travel overseas. Obi ma mene ne papa a mo bra. Omo di omo ene akoshi bra. Ni nu ya bo ni krofu kru nu mo jie. Somebody also have some parents who didn't live a very good life. They just led their lives anyhow. In this wise, they have left curses down for their children. So when the children come up, they also have to live those kind of bad life. Human beings, if you be good, it depends on your family. It depends on your father and mother. They are supposed to live a good life for you. That they go into a good covenant with God so that it will affect your life. That is how God made Abraham. The word of God says that Abraham, Abraham suffered. He followed the commandments of the Lord. He followed his status. He followed his words. He followed his commandments. Abraham and God had a covenant. There was hunger in that Abraham time. Abraham was dead and gone. His, his son Isaac was there. He was there. Now Isaac and Isaac thought that he will be dead by that family. He thought in his mind that this hunger is coming, so I'm going to run forward. But what is important or sweet in this is this. This sweet makes me marvel and shake my head when I'm reading the word of God. God called Isaac and said, Isaac, don't run away. Don't go anywhere. Your father Abraham has made a good life. He has, he has had a covenant with me. So I have a covenant with your father. There is a, a covenant before you came on this earth. This famine, you are not included in it. This famine, you are not included in it. Stay on this land as a stranger. I, the Lord, will bless you. So the Lord told Isaac, this hunger, I will bless you until you become big, until you become great, until you become very, 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 very great. When you are there and you are also praying that prayer, me and you, which kind of life has our parents lived for us? That you are praying, God, I'm suffering. Why, God? Is it not you who said in your way that you make me great until I become great and become very, very great? Where did God tell you this? He told Isaac, that promises. What shall we? It is for Isaac. It is for Isaac. It's not for you. Not for you. Hey, yeah. Isaac, dear. It's for Isaac. There are certain things in the word of God. It belongs to other people. If you take it for yourself, it's not possible. Maybe your parents were idol worshippers. Your father and mother were not able to marry well. Your mother said your father was doing womanizing, so he just stopped the marriage. And your mother has left this Divorce covenant down for you. That is why your, your, your siblings are not able to marry. Through human beings, human beings are able to prosper. Through human beings, human beings also go through pain. 
The other time I said something. If you are in this world, don't open your mouth and say this word. If you say it, it will pain God. That me, human beings, cannot help me. If you have said some, please change your mind. Your helper is a human being. It is God who took a human being. That he should come and help a human being. I as a singer, if God from heaven gave me a song, he gives me the anointing, he gives me the very sweet song, and gives me the power to go and sing. And if I don't get a producer, how can I be? If I don't get a human being to produce me, the song will not reach anywhere. Human being, your helper is another human being. God has fixed in every human being the spirit of help. That he should help another human being. Maybe it's because you don't have knowledge and wisdom concerning that. That is why you said it. That human beings cannot help me. That's why you said it. Human beings cannot help me. If you continually say this thing, your blessings will be blocked. Maybe I'm the one helping you. And you have said it for me to hear. It will pain me. So the help that I'm giving to you, if it's not the spirit of God within me, then I will begin to withdraw from you. Because I will see that you are a betrayer. betrayer. God will understand God and it will pain God. God hates people who are betrayers. God, today I'm telling you some wisdom the spirit of help is in a human so being. If you say I'm lying, you let's visit dance. the word of God. Dear Proverbs. Let's go to the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 27. Proverbs chapter 27. Verse 17. Verse 17. Verse 17. Verse 17. As a woman in the kitchen, if you are using your kitchen knife and it becomes blunt, what do you do to that knife? Don't you usually... What's it say? Don't you usually use a knife to sharpen the other knife? And our sister says, she takes a knife and uses it to sharpen the other knife. Amen. Amen. Some, some of you also carry your knives to people who are in that service. They use knife or they use metal to sharpen your knives for you. That is their work. Who are those who do those things? Uh -huh. Very good. God has also Fix in human beings some power. Let's listen to the word here. Dadie, dadie, say dadie ano na oni panso se ni yonku ni pa enim. Oni pa uba se wa wanya enim. O yonku ni pa enim. Who are you going to sharpen as a human being? You will sharpen yourself in the face of your fellow human being. Amen. Amen. Where you nyaku pon to me? This is the power that God has fixed in a human being to help another human being. So Satan has also seen this. He was up there with God. He became very naughty and God put him down. He knows how God is. That God has fixed in a human being power. That we should use it to help another human being. So when he looks at you as a human being, as an empty vessel, he also comes to fix in you that bad spirit to fight against you. Somebody's married that is not going on well it is because the mother's witchcraft is behind it. Somebody's married that is not going on well. It can be his father's witchcraft or wizard that has done it. Hey, you What What if Somebody can also have good marriage. The husband is giving him everything in life. 
good car, good house, good food. Yet that woman is not happy in that marriage. What is going on that this lady is always sad? If, if you should go in to ask, she will tell you the husband is doing womanizing. The, the man is womanizing. He's not giving her the joy in marriage. He's not giving her the peace in the marriage. That's why she's always sir she's not happy in this world oh if somebody can also advise her go and die she would like to go and die because it's not because of marriage that she went to marry oh this kind of marriage that you are not happy in it not having peace of mind I'm, what am i doing in this marriage home if i don't take care of this family i will leave this marriage the same person can, a human being can also frustrate another human being destroy that human being to the extent that the human being cannot have a happy life this human being that we are talking about can also help his fellow human beings. Oh, for you to, to be so happy that somebody has also helped you very well. God passes through or works through human beings to help another human being. That human being can have a better level of standard in life. So if this is the issue, then what can we do about human beings? We need to get some keys from human beings. We need to have some secrets about human beings. Because if you remove human beings from the, the, the issue, it's not possible. You cannot live with animals in this world. This heaven that we are all going, to go to heaven, it depends on the human beings. If you cannot go to heaven, it's a, a human being. If God helps you to enter into heaven, we are going to live there with human beings. We are not going to live in heaven with animals. So you have to learn something that can let you live with human beings. Whether he's good, whether he's bad. Today the Lord is here to give you the keys that you can live. The good things that are in him, he can help you. You look at an egg. Before a human being can get an egg to eat, before you get taste of egg, you have to suffer. What do you have to do? You have to get fire. Fix the, put the egg on the fire. When it's well cooked, you just cannot put it in your mouth and eat. You just can't straight away fix the eggs in your mouth. We don't eat eggs like that. Unless you remove the shells from it. The shells around it. Oh, you need wisdom. You need some keys to remove the shells from the egg. If you remove the shells from the egg, if you eat the shells, there is some whitish substance around it after the shells. That one too, there is no taste in it. Oh, there is no taste in the egg whites. Unless you enter into the, you try and eat the whites like that. If you finish eating the whites like that, your mouth will become something like that. There is some gold or yolk. There is some yolk in the egg. And you find Fantastic. The, the, the yolk is very fantastic. God will be warm. The yolk in it, which is gold, is a taste. Is the tasty one. So God cannot give me to you to help you. Whilst you cannot have anything that is not very good from me. You say me, I'm troublesome. I'm not good. So you're leaving me to go somewhere. You've left your goals behind. 
gold be oh. You there is some gold hidden inside me. Where you to? You've left it behind. Be Where you are going? You will go and begin suffering. Before you get that gold inside. Oh, the trouble that you were thinking it was with me and you left it behind. That you were not able to stay. Where you are going? Double, double, double. You're going to face double, double troubles. You cannot take God just like that. That you get things anyhow like that. God tests you with certain things. He's got you. He's you see, the man that you married initially he loved you so much. Our elderly people say that nobody will just take money to go and marry his or her enemy, except the one that he loves. Why is it that when you got to the middle, your husband is hating you? Now you become enemies. There is an examination. There is an egg that you need to remove the shell. You say you don't want to remove the shell. The egg. You don't want to eat the white of it because it's not good. You say human beings are not good. Let me tell you. You don't have the keys. That will let you live well with human beings. When you're good. That you can get the gold out of it. Property. That you get the property out that of it. The other time I told you something. If God blesses you. And gives you power. To overcome the challenges in human beings. There is no good thing. That you cannot get from God. Those premature deaths that people are dying, you will not live like that. You live long. You will not die early. Those chronic diseases that people follow human beings to get those kind of chronic diseases, if today you get this power, you, you will be out of that line. David had those keys. So he said, I, David, thousand shall fall at my left side. Ten thousand at my right side. None of it shall touch me. I and human beings living on this earth, I with my eyes will look those things and see the reward of the wicked. But today, we say, what is going on in this world? Oh, me, uh, I'm just living like that quietly. Somebody want to destroy my life. Somebody want to give me sickness. Oh, if I don't take care, I will die prematurely. So you, yourself, with your mouth, you begin to curse your own self. That the good that you are and the love that you, you love your husband, you then you begin to change. Then you enter into the bad side. You remove your love from your husband. You throw it away. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Hmm. If you are living with a human being and he's hating you, if he's your husband and he's hating you, don't change your mind. We don't remove his love from us. Some time ago, I taught you something that if it happens like that, love the Lord more than any human being on this earth. If it happens like that, love the Lord your God more than any human being on this earth. Use your, your heart, all your mind, all your strength. Use it to love the Lord. If you love the Lord, you can never have broken hearts. You can never have broken hearts. It can never destroy you. It can never destroy you. Today, second, that's what we are saying today. If it happens like that, I know secret. You're talking to me, you know. The secret that is the second one. First one, they say. The first one says, "The radicin the baby was as he should." Love the Lord above all human beings. Second one, they say. The second one says, "And every Christian wants to say that we are learning today 
be happy in the works of your hands. The, the works in your marriage, the works in your marriage that God has put on your hands, whether it's good, whether it's bad, be very happy in that marriage. You yourself, search for joy for yourself and throw away that sadness, the sadness that is of no use, throw it away. Jealousy which is of no use, throw it away. Fighting and fighting that you are fighting with your husband, throw it away. Throw it into the dustbin and search for joy for yourself. Search for joy for yourself. Those times, he's hitting you. He's doing bad to you. Search for joy for yourself. Search for joy for him. Don't think about evil for him. Don't change about him. Don't be sad about him. Don't be broken hearted concerning him. Oh, that doesn't mean I love you. For that, it is the work of the flesh. Let's go to Genesis. If you be happy in the works of your hands, and you don't send your mind on issues far away. And if you don't open your mouth to say bad words upon your own marriage, God will change things for you. You see that this marriage, when we started, wasn't like that. It was good. But today it's only a test or Still, a trial time. Still, the marriage is good for you. That's how God is. Let's see the mind of God. Genesis. A Genesis. Chapter one. Chapter number one. Verse thirty-one. Let's go. Mose muma edikai etire baako enye yimu edu ya sambaako na onyango po onhunu di e oye oye ni na na she eye pa ara. And it was very good. God. God said that God created the whole world and when God looked at what he has created he saw it that it was very very good if somebody should look at these two ladies and say oh do you know Auntie Sewa and the other lady says oh as for this woman Auntie Sewa she is very very good when God saw all that he's done, he said it was very good. If you Satan looks at it and says it's not good, oh, God himself knows that whatever he did is very, very good. Let me ask you this. The things that God created, oh, there was mosquitoes included. Snakes and those things, are they all good? Poverty is it good? Devil and his own weapons. Who created them? God says all is good. So you cannot challenge God. So I am the one in my marriage. And my husband is frustrating me. I will not let somebody come and disturb me. It, the marriage is very good for me. Amen. Amen. Be very happy in the works of your hands. God is happy in the works of his hands. Isaiah chapter 54. If you study the word of God in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 15, 16 to 17. Verse 15 to 17. He said, I am the one who fans the coal and created the devil and all his weapons. 
and all his works. The Lord said it. I'm now the one saying it. The Lord said I created the destroyer. And all the weapons that he uses to destroy things. That he should destroy human beings. Who created those weapons? He said he should destroy human beings. But I, the Lord who said it, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise up against you, that shall rise up against you, in judgment we condemn. Amen. Amen. So all the weapons God created into this world, when he saw it, he said it was very good. Uh, when you are there, you say, oh God, why did you create Satan? You know that Satan is destroying human beings. Oh, why don't you remove Satan from this world and we'll be free? He, God knows that. He says that it's very, very good. You can say it till morning, till they break. Time is not yet up for God to do that. That you should bind Satan and all his co into fire. And it's not what you are saying that will, he will let the time reach very fast. God is very, very happy in the works of his hands. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19 to 20. Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19 to 20. Odifo Isaiah E tire ba kunyi yimudun kruko si edionu. Sa mope na mutia mubedi asasene so nepa. Aha. Na se mwampene. Wampene. Na mutia chunya. Na mutia chunya wa wari ni mwa. Afnabe se mu. Eni enti na ube uu. E wa wari ni mwa ta monso yenu. If you don't obey and you go wayward. Then you will be destroyed. The marriage that God has given to you, that you are saying the man has changed. So you have begun changing your own husband. You don't have the secret. You don't have the secret to overcome the bad lives of human beings. Today, the Lord has sent me that should bring, to, if you like. If you like and you listen and you use it to work, God says you shall eat the good of the land. What land? Your marriage land. Initially, I told you that if you have this secret, no good thing in this earth that you cannot receive from the Lord. He says, have you heard that? He says, if you like, and you use it to work, you will enjoy the best of it. If you go wayward from the word of God, and you don't find the best way to live with another human being, then he says that you will die by the soul. So many people are able to die in their marriages. Some, married go, some people go to marry and then they receive death. Some people go and then receive sickness. Different, different sicknesses. You don't have the secret that you can use to live as, as a good human being. Amen. Amen. If you are not able to get the power for the joy of the works of your hands, the joy that is in that work has departed from you. The joy has departed from you. The love is finished. Love is the greatest in all the laws of God. If you are not able to get joy for the works of your hands, that the one that is disturbing you, if you are not able to love that person, it becomes a battle that comes to fight against you. It comes to destroy you. It comes to destroy you. All that is in a human being is just something that comes to destroy or frustrate you. Just frustration and crying tears. But 
The other time I taught you that the one that loves the Lord, he follows the word of God. It's been written, love your neighbor as yourself. Why is he hating you and you are also hating him? So the secret that is in this is this. Love God above all human beings. The second one is love your neighbor as yourself. So Jesus advised some people when Jesus was on this earth. This was where he is. So when you come before him, he teaches you for you to understand what you can use to overcome the bad life of a human being. Let's listen to what Jesus said. Matthew, Matthew, chapter 22, chapter number 22, verse 35, verse 35. Matthew, a tre adionumienu, and ye mu adiasanum. Now, one muba aqua or yamra nimfo bizarre, not the saw no share, say, Churchera fro, Mranmo Cassiani de Awahine. Now, or say no say, Do a radio yang coupon wakumen in emu. Ne wo kra nyina mhm ne wa adwene nyina mu aha ye ne mra no mu kese ne de edi kan tie e mra twofo bi mu nim nwoma ene omko bu say jesus question listen to this some scribes who knows how to write very well went to ask jesus this question ene jesus so two question ene ma and jesus also threw back the question to them e de ne atwira what is written ye did we ask so that we can use to overcome the world then the scribe said, Oh, now see, I try to say, Oh, it's been written like this. That in the Lord, that which is greater in it is love the Lord you, with all your heart, with all your self, your whole mind, your whole strength. That in that, that is the greatest in the law. Then Jesus asked, what is the second one? And what is the second one? Second one, let say, Uh huh. Which one is the second one? He says, Love your neighbor as yourself. He didn't say that. The one that loves you, love him too. The same. What kind? Did he say that? What kind? Did that he say that? Who could know why you're young? Could I need you? Your husband, that is your friend in the house. They say, who don't you never feel? Now you say all your love has departed from him. You say, oh, all the joy that you had for him is now gone. What judge? You've judged him. What do you want to judge? Who could? You have already judged your husband that a man is a womanizer. That you go chasing women anyhow. That you bring sickness on me. Oh, already, you've already bought sickness for yourself. Then you started changing. If you are with your husband and trouble comes against him, that a woman comes in his life in between you. That's the time that you need to love him more. You need to remember your first love. That you used to love your husband. You need to increase that love. Then you begin to be more happy with him. The other time when we went to Achimoda, I taught you that marriage is a whole job of his own. Marriage is not a battleground. Marriage is not jealousy. We, we didn't come to marry to do battle or warfare. God sent women that we should come and marry and come and work in it and work in that marriage. So if the man's marriage gets finished, you need to renew the land. What way are you going to use to renew the land? Go and take a look at those who go Open fishing. The they use fish yes to get say. fish. Jesus said. Yes, say. Jesus said. Yes, say. What you want human beings to do for you? Do the same things so, for them. So, 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 if you want your husband to love you, now, the, the husband's love is finished now, baby, and is now gone to another woman, begin creating a new love for him. And 
Don't hate him the same. If you are not able to show him love, to, to remove the hatred from there, and you begin to hate him, you will totally bring confusion between you. It will bring divorce, death, sicknesses, shame, that it will bring in your life. If a man's love gets finished, don't let yours get finished as a woman. As, a, as petrol can get finished in a car, some people's love can also get finished. Except Jesus Christ. He alone has a special love. It can never be cooled down. So if you feel your love through Jesus' love, if you connect your love to the love of Jesus Christ, it will connect into the love for your husband. Then he will also have the love of Jesus Christ. Your marriage can be well enjoyed. God said women are helpmates for men. You came to help me. I'm the man. And you are the woman. They said come and help me. When you came, I have job. And the job that I have, you are tired helping me. Then what did you come to do as a woman? If I can help myself, hey, would they have sent you to come and help me? And you, you are coming to help me. Me and you. Who is the one to ha supposed to have strength? If I have strength as a man, and if I can do it my own, did they send you to come and help me? Did they say come and fight for me? Hey, they say come and help me. You are coming to have jealousy and fighting with me. Marriage is help. Marriage is work. Be very happy in the works of your hands. It doesn't matter the trials and tribulations in that work. It's a trial. That trial, God says, He's giving a way through it that it will not destroy you. It will not kill you. He says the one that will kill you, He, the Lord Himself, He will block it. He will not let it come at all. So this one, there is a way through it. So if your husband is disturbing you and the love has become cold, create a new love and love him. If he doesn't love you, say love. I love you. I love you. Say still, I love you. Wow. What shows that you love you? If somebody is hating you and you are doing good to that person, that is what is called love. It's not your crying that you are crying and you are getting broken hearts. That is not the true love. He's, he's hating you and doing womanizing. When you cook food, you give him some to eat. When he gives you some cheeky words, give him a very good cheek. That is very good to the heart. Give it to him. Be a foolish person no, 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 and let him be a wise person and you will become a wise person. Then he will become a foolish person. This is the heavenly wisdom. This is the heavenly love. Who taught you that? You, if your husband is humanizing and he's, he's giving you bad life or he's hating you, he's disturbing you, you have to do the same to yeah, him. You, you know remove him. our love from him. You don't, you don't love him. Let me show you a secret. So if somebody doesn't yeah, love you, you remember your first love. Yeah, Let's go to the word of Revelation. God. Revelation chapter 2, verse 1 to 5. Revelation chapter 2, verse 1 to 5. Let's go and see the testimony here. What's this say? Have wisdom to overcome. You, 
have wisdom to overcome the bad life of people. Apart from, Nippon, apart from human beings, beings, you can't get anyone to live on this earth with you. God has sealed it already. That you, a woman, stay with your husband, a man. You cannot stay with an animal. So if his love gets finished, don't let his love depart from you. Edisem, a tremien, ni muba con eba. Efiso asafu mubo forno. Trocoman o se, se na de okra and stroman son in ifemu. Dear or namsika can ye do answer fin fin no se. One and namsika can ye do answer fin fin. Eh, why? Who is walking through the lampstands of God? Eh, Jesus. It is Jesus Christ. Eh, dear, same way, soma. That is sending this message. Pacha to us, so. Nienti a yesu enuma samo de soma ye. Minimo nyuma, uh -huh. ne wo bre ne wo bo asito. Wende mo, se wo ye Christo ni, a wo bre wa wari ye ni mo panso. Wende ya putri wo kru no wa che. In those that you are a child of God, a Christian, that you are suffering, yet you have had patience for your marriage. Yanko. And he said, wo ntu min kura wana wo ye abone fo. And he said, wo koko no, e chilikura se wo kuno ye maase mo kura. That you you hate. You hate it. That your husband is moving wayward. Left with you alone, he should have been an upright man. Uh huh. Yanko. Now, one saw one ah or see or ye asuma for na onye no anche. Ah, anche. Anche. Now, who no one say a trophy? One say toda. Who can man go be biya? At times, you talk to your husband and say, I didn't go anywhere. But one day, you catch him humanizing seriously. You can see that your husband, the way he's doing things nowadays is all lies. He can even say, I'm going to work on track somewhere. Meanwhile, he's going out to chill with another woman somewhere. When the, the same man, when he comes back home, he will come and tell you, I love you, I love you. First John chapter three. When you study the word, uh, word of God in First John chapter 3, verse 18, verse 18 he, he says, my brethren, I am among, yes, sir. oh, don't be doing these things. Don't use your mouth just to laugh. You laugh through your character. Maybe you have. A certain man just love you with the mouth, the teeth, and the tongue. So he's lying. He's giving your love to another woman. When it's chilling time, he goes out to chill with other women. Some men can do very painful things. He can, he can give good money and good things to other women outside more than the real wife. It's a lie love. He's giving that love to another outside. But in all that, what does the word of God say? In all that, you have patience. He says because of his name, you are enduring. You know. And he says, I am a man of patience. Who is a man of patience? Those are those married couples. There is something that God wants to tell you. What do God has for us? And he said, Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? What have you left? You've had patience waiting upon your husband, but the real love that you used to have for him. 
So Jesus says, he has something to say. The thing that he's saying to you, you've left your first love. The first that you marry, those times the man loved you. So you also loved him. Now that he's changed, you say you will not say anything. You will not fight. But you cannot love him the same way you love him. The love that you have, has all departed. Yes, you see. Jesus says, when you fell from your love, remember that. Uh-huh. Now such a dream. Uh-huh. Now the first love that you used to love him, change your mind and go and love him the same way. Don't judge him. Don't judge him. Who says you come to us? Repeat it. Who says you come to us? He says, I will come and remove your hand. You come and remove your glory from you. Many women's glory are departed. You are leaving the man and go. You think you are going to get a better one than him. The glory has been taken away. The work that was given to you. You were speaking about it. The joy has departed from you. You are not having any joy in that work. So he says he's coming to you. He's coming to remove your glory from you. And I'm asking you a question. That man that you are judging, that is not good. Why is it that Jesus didn't say he's coming against him and judge him and remove the, the, the lampstand from him? But he's Said, you the woman that is giving you the marriage that the love has departed from you he says coming he, Jesus is coming to you with anger to remove the lamb sand from you don't ever judge your husband God bless you excellent Jesus he says what do you have to do Remember your first love. Change. Many Christians who are now sitting in the house of God really need a mind change. Many married couples need to renew their mind. Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 7. Chapter number 7. Verse 10. Verse 10. Was anka fu e trenso, eni imudu, anka se adenti na akani no na na no yesne we yi. Efi nekro, wasi wo tu ufo. From today onwards, he says he's advising you. Oba kwa se yo kasa fu. A foolish woman talks too much. Enti anka san kasa wa wa we mu se. So be don't be talking in your marriage. Telling your, your, your friends and other people. Don't be complaining to other people. That, oh, me, why is it that first my, my husband used to love me so much. Now he doesn't love me again. It's just womanizing. Never say that. Why is it that first my husband was a good man? He says, I should tell you that a, a talkative woman is a very foolish woman. It's is, is not through wisdom that you are talking like that. He says that if you are wise, you will not talk like this. Because at the puppet because every good work that has been given into your hands there is success or trial on it if you have wisdom you need to fight and then have it so if you talk, talk anyhow you are not wise is it me saying it I want to fourteen. you you do nine da pamu ma he says, what are you going to do to win your marriage? What are you going to do to win your marriage? What is the keys? 
If your husband brings good things, be happy. Uh-huh. If he brings bad news, be happy. If he brings good news, be happy. Because God has created all things like that. He says everything that he created, he, he says it's very good for him. So when bad things, bad days come in your marriage, he says who created it? Am I the one who created bad days? Stop judging and stop talking else we will say that you don't have wisdom. Else God will say you are not wise. You, that you can use to fight and get your gold. He will see that you are not the one who deserves that gold. That he will not allow you to get any good thing in this life. Let's take a look at the word that God gave to the ladies. Who speak too much as fools? Proverbs chapter nine, verse thirteen. Uh -huh. A foolish woman is what? Am I the one who said it? Uh huh. He says that you have a very big head and you don't have anything inside your head. He said that your head is an empty container. It doesn't contain any wisdom. There is no wisdom in your head. If there is wisdom in your head, all that, it happen, all that is happening in your marriage, you wouldn't have spoken about it. You would, you would have had joy in that. If you get joy in that, if you are able to get joy in it, and you work in it, the Lord himself will give you very good, good things. He will let you be very happy. He will let you be very prosperous. Let's see the testimony here. If you want things to go on well for you, have joy in your own marriage. Have the joy in the works of your hands. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. Chapter 3. Chapter number three, verse twenty-two. Verse twenty-two. Osenka four, etre mi ensa, eni yimu edionu mi enu. Aha. Na mi hunu se adepebiere niho, jise onipa eni jini nyumemu. What eh? Adepebiere ni wiasi biem, ah ube fa huwa, ube ebe tumi esi wiye e wawari enimo. Wasi jise di eni nebe na yeye. Onipa eni jini nyumemu. Jise unyuma no, ensore na abe muna mania na atono. Jise wye day. Uma when it's you woman now with Sinem. Neja say Kawunya will be crun the enemy and kaupe. Did you hear that? He said, I heard it. That there is nothing very joyful on this earth, except you become very happy in the works of your hands. Stop thinking that, oh, if I had my sister's one, it would have been very good for me. At the Pebby any we are happy. There is nothing very good on this earth. God who created on who created this world has said that there is nothing good on this earth. There is no other doors in this earth that will be able to get good marriages in this world except that marriage that he's given to you. The problems that you are having through it you have to be very happy through that marriage. You have to be very happy in the works of your hands. He says, what is it? He says, that is your portion. He says, what is it? The 
the Lord is saying that there is no other way by which you can succeed in this world and be so happy except the work that is given to you to do. You become very joyful in it and you work through it. That is the way by which you can become very happy and successful. And that is your portion on this earth. You can see a woman walking around that he and the husband, they become very prosperous. Their children are traveling in and out outside and taking good care of their parents. Their the man is good care of their wife. They are moving up and down successfully. Oh, sorry, I will say. When you wake up, uh -huh. you say, uh huh. Hey, this is what, what is called good marriage. Oh, no, it's not mine that is smelling and like me. You say, it's not like mine. No. Go and ask the woman. She will tell you. I cooked my marriage like an egg before I met the yolk in it. And so when he just started, that he started eating the yolk or the gold in the egg. Because the word of God says that if you a human being can prosper and be joyful on this land of the living every work that he has kept in your hands to do every attack that comes against it except you become very very joyful in that same work unless you put your whole joy and your love in it and say that, oh, this job or this work, I like it. I love it. I love it. Marriage is work. Marriage is work. Every marriage that God has put in your hands, you are still working in it. It doesn't matter the trials in it. It doesn't matter the troubles in it. It doesn't matter the sadness in it. It doesn't matter the the troubles in it. Whatever bad things that are going on in that marriage, it doesn't matter. Remove your eyes from it. Be happy in that marriage. Be happy in that marriage. Be very happy with your husband. Be very happy with your wife. God is telling me to tell you, if you be very happy in that marriage, that is your portion. Today, here, is the end of our message. Ba, 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 I love you. We love you too, mommy.
Thank you.